It's uh, effectively legal mechanisms designed to protect uh, creative ideas and innovation. It falls into four discrete categories, actually five if you take into account know-how, but to four I'll start with patents, which is most well known. Patents are things that protect inventions and technical uh, technological advances, uh, copyright which protects uh, the material embodiment of an idea, so an idea that's put on paper, for example a book um, or software, um, computer programs is another. Uh, then you get designs, people who make things, make uh, beautiful designs, couches, furniture, etc. can get registered designs for their work. Uh, and then everything else that is distinctive about a business, for example its name, maybe a sound, its colour, can be protected via trademarks. And then the fifth category, those four categories can all be registered to a certain extent, copyright being a slight exception. Um, and the fifth category is in fact know-how. Everything that sits in you or your employer's head around the business, your trade secrets for example, are protected by what we call the common law. Uh, and that protects um, know-how. What does this mean for Autodesk customers? Autodesk customers, um, it means quite a lot. I mean, wh what it means is that they can protect their own products if they're creating things uh, using Autodesk software uh, and knowing how to do it, not only know how to protect it, but how to enforce it, uh, but also um, their relationship with Autodesk, who owns the software or their own customers, uh, who owns the rights in the program and the licensing aspect of it. But let's say, for example, you produce architectural drawings. Who owns those architectural drawings and what is the relationship between yourself and your customer? Can we just cut there for a second? Um, is that too loud? Uh, they speaking a bit loud. Too loud. Mm -hmm.